Hi, we are with Gary Rini, independent forensic science consultant specialized in crime scene evaluation. Uh, Professor Rini, uh, what is a crime scene evaluation expert? Uh, a crime scene uh, evaluation expert is an individual who is schooled in the forensic sciences, who has a great deal of experience and training and education in the area of forensic science and crime scene investigation. That individual uh, will be employed by um, attorneys in both private and governmental practices to review case files associated with, in, in most cases with homicides. And that individual will use his knowledge, skills, and abilities to evaluate the forensic evidence that was gathered uh, in the course of investigation um, that will be used to indict or, or place charges against an individual. That individual, that crime scene expert, uh, will perform what they call a crime scene investigation performance audit. They will try to evaluate the reliability and the validity of the outcomes of the people who were involved in the investigation. This looks like something out of CSI. Yes, in fact, uh, many people who are now interested in forensic science and crime scene investigation um, have, have received some of their basic training and inspiration from the programs such as CSI and NCIS that are, were developed in the United States. And uh, uh, of course this expertise, this area, uh, must bring to you interesting cases or let's say exciting cases. Are you into something uh, Recently? Yes, I, I, uh, currently I'm carrying a caseload of 18 homicide cases from uh, attorneys throughout the United States. Uh, I just recently uh, completed a case that generated out of uh, a death in Iceland on a naval air station base uh, for the United States military. Uh, and I've just recently been contacted to uh, be part of the uh, prosecution team uh, for an individual who allegedly killed two of his superior officers in Iraq, uh, which means that I may have to travel to Baghdad uh, and actually to Crete, which is north of Baghdad, um, to investigate the crime scene. We're still working out the particulars in that matter, but those are the kinds of cases I am currently involved with. Iceland, Iraq, and why are you here at UFM? Uh, because I was honored to be uh, asked to participate in a, in a new program uh, that the School of Law uh, instituted, which uh, bringing in certain forensic science experts uh, as part of their forensic science program within the School of Law. I was fascinated uh, by the proposal and uh, of course honored that I would be asked to be a participant in this because in the United States, um, the majority of the law schools, in fact the preponderance of law schools, don't have the types of forensic science courses that are incorporated in Francisco Marroquin School of Law. In fact, here at Francisco Marroquin, you are so far ahead of the majority of law schools in the United States, it's quite surprising. So I'm honored and excited to be a uh, part of that, uh, of that program. Have you had a good experience with oh, professors okay. and students? The students, I just mentioned this uh, last night to my to, to the new group of students, and I, and I said I taught uh, college in uh, American universities for a number of years, and uh, every time I come here, every new class I, t I teach uh, is more amazing. These students are so intelligent, so well uh, behaved, so um, uh, inspired and, and motivated to do well that it's just a pure pleasure to, to be part of their educational process. And in many regards, I think they're, they're um, superlative to, to many of the students I've had in the United States. Do, do you see a future for forensic sciences here in Guatemala um, from what you have seen since you have been coming for two, three years? Uh, just, I think this is either three or four, but time goes quickly when you're having fun. But yes, I do see a future because uh, my personal opinion is, and I think it's shared by many, is that to have a strong, democratic, free country um, is the basis for the development of that country. Infrastructure, um, economy, uh, the freedom of their people. And if, you, if the people can be secure in their homes, in their lives, in their livelihood, um, it will just motivate 
the, the nation, the country, um, to uh, expand their economy and their, and their growth as a nation. So fundamental to all of that is a secure country. And, and, and fundamental to that is a strong criminal justice system. And in order to ensure a, cr a strong criminal justice system, there has to be an absolute um, reliability upon those involved in, in the criminal justice, the, the courts, the police, uh, any other people involved in it, the people of the nation have to um, have trust uh, in those organizations or the whole system will fail. And as I see what's happening recently with the approval of the development of a new forensic science institute in Guatemala, that is the beginning of a great road to success. And I, I hope that the students who are involved in Francisco Marroquin School of Law and their forensic science program will someday aid in the development and the growth and the prosperity of not only the criminal justice system, but in Guatemala as a country. Thank you, Professor Rini. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. It's my pleasure.